Developing news tonight on the ISIS terror plot involving two cousins from Aurora. Good evening, I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Don Hasbrook. Tonight, an exclusive look at the search warrants executed by federal authorities and the evidence they contain. Those search warrants showed FBI agents were looking for a host of electronic devices that would shed some light on the terror plot that the two men are now charged with developing. Craig Wall is in the control room right now with the late-breaking information. Dawn, the search warrants and the affidavits associated with them are voluminous, 12 of them in all, authorizing FBI agents to search a van, a home, and a townhome in Aurora, as well as numerous cell phones and computers, all for evidence against the two cousins who are now charged with conspiring to help ISIS. There are 12 search warrants in all, and in each of them, the feds were looking for anything related to ISIS that might be found in the items that were seized. 22-year-old Hassan Edmonds and his 29-year-old cousin Jonas Edmonds were both arrested last Wednesday. Hassan at Midway Airport, where he was trying to board a plane heading to Egypt, and Jonas in Aurora. The search warrants authorized FBI agents to seize six cell phones, a thumb drive, an iPad, and two computers, and to search them for encrypted files, photos, videos, emails, and text messages related to the plot. An aunt of the two men who showed up to support Hassan Edmonds in court today said the two men converted to Islam several years ago, but the family never saw any evidence of anti-American sentiment. It's crushing. I mean, it's heartbreaking. My family ain't like that. We're, we're Americans. I mean, we lived here all our life, Indiana, Illinois. This, they're nothing like that. The feds allege the terror plot involved an attack on the Joliet National Guard Armory with AK-47s and grenades. It was the same facility where earlier this month Army Specialist Hassan Edmonds did his weekend training as a member of the National Guard. Jonas Edmonds was planning to carry out the attack on the armory, hoping for a body count of 100 to 150 individuals, according to court documents. The warrants also authorized the FBI to search the home and townhome in Aurora where the men lived and to search a van as well. Their aunt said the family can't believe the allegations are true. If anything has happened like that, I don't think it would be that serious to want to kill Americans on American soil. I don't think they're that type of people at all, no matter what type of animosity or anger they could have. If any, I doubt, I don't think it would be that deep. The warrants indicated the feds were looking for items related to Hassan Edmonds' overseas travel plans and his military record, as well as both men's Internet browsing history and any information about their alleged plans to commit violence on behalf of ISIS overseas or here in the U.S. Jeff. Craig Wall reporting. Craig, thank you. And the number of American citizens fighting for ISIS is alarming. According to the National Counterterrorism Center, more than 150 U.S. citizens have gone to Syria to fight with ISIS. Nine of them are from Illinois. Worldwide, more than 20,000 people from 90 different countries are supporting the terrorist group. 550 have been women.